two weeks, Chambogo University staff and its management were embroiled in a disagreement over whether the vice chancellor and senior administrators should step aside over allegations of mismanagement and fraud. Attempts by the State Minister for Education, Charles Bakavulindi, to broker a deal on Wednesday only fell flat. Now, with the lecturers vowing to continue with their strike action, the University Council have put their foot down. The university is closed forthwith. Students must leave the halls of residence by 4 today, 4 p.m. today, 30th of August 2011-2012. The closure is with immediate effect, but it is also indefinite. I cannot tell you when the university will resume to work. But both staff and students are dissatisfied with the decision. While the staff complain that the decision is inappropriate, the students say the time frame given to vacate the school is unfair. Given the circumstances under which this university has been declared closed, it is unfortunate that we are being sacrificed at the expense of people whose transcripts might not even be labeled Chambogo University. Why close? Because one man can't step aside for investigation. Then let him own the university, let him keep it in his university. However, with police heavily deployed all over the university compound, students peacefully carried their belongings and left the school. Even the students with special needs were no exception. <laughs> Chambogo University has about 25,000 continuing students, about 1,500 new entrants and over 200 international students. For now, the university will remain closed for as long as the staff members continue with the standoff. Cynthia Asio, NTV.